The tennis coach for kids and former member of the Sac State tennis team making his first appearance in court. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 5. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. And I'm Eric Rucker in tonight for Eric Harriman. The man you see right here, his name is Kasparis Zimatelis. He faces multiple counts of lewd acts with a child. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix is live outside of the courtroom with what we are learning about that coach and the charges he is facing. Roe. Well, Nikki and Eric, the judge read off two specific dates between last year and just two months ago when these alleged crimes occurred. Casper Zamatelis, is that your true and correct name? Yes. Mr. Zamatelis, you are here for an arraignment in case number 22 FD012881. This is a felony complaint alleging that on or between October 27, 2021 and June 30th, 2022, you committed 10 counts of penal code section 288, parent C, parent 1, loop act with a child 14 or 15 years old, and that you are at least 10 years older than the victim. With his head down looking at the floor, 26 year old Kasparas Zima Tellis listened as the judge read off the charges. Representing Zima Tellis, attorney Reed Kingsbury waived formal arraignment to be continued to next Wednesday. At that time, the judge will also determine if Zima Tellis's bail of $10 million will be reduced. Outside the courtroom, the attorney declined commenting on the case, except to say there was waiting for family members to arrive from Lithuania. Sacramento Sheriff's detectives arrested Zima Tellis on Monday after questioning him for the sexual abuse of a minor. Zima Tellis was part of the tennis team at Sac State for three years. So when I was freshman year, I was like, you know, oh wow, I know, it's just me, no, no family, you know. Come on, Cash, we'll just have a good time. He later became a professional tennis player. Since 2019 to the present time, he has been coaching minors uh, for uh, tennis. Zima Tellis provided private lessons to children at the Rio del Oro Sports Club. Now Zima Tellis will be back in court next Wednesday for further proceedings. Reporting live outside the courtroom, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.